Okay, just hear me out on this one. I think it's no secret that I've always had my qualms with my hair. It was boring and brown. I was always doing whatever I could to change it. I kept it in a bun because it was more of a liability than anything else. I was never happy. It was time for a change. And what better time than now, after high school has ended and right before I'm about to enter into university, to completely mess up my hair and do whatever I wish to it. And besides, I want to look like Madonna, like really badly. I've said this once and I'll say it again. The Papa Don't Preach me music video look was and forever will be iconic, so naturally I want to look like her. Hello my dudes, my name is Joanna Cedia, I am 18 years old, I am a two-time hairdresser's react offender, and I'm here to make that three. So today, as you've probably read from the title, I am going to be dyeing my hair blonde. To be fair, I've been preparing for this for a very long time. I want to make this look good. I mean, I would get this professionally done, but where's the fun in that? I've been reading articles about how to do this correctly. I've been shampooing and conditioning every single day. I've been using hair masks. What the heck is a hair mask? How is your hair supposed to wear a mask? I don't know. So the plan, you may be wondering. I have virgin brown hair. Whoa there. So I'm gonna take things slowly because I don't really know how my hair is gonna respond to the bleach. I bought this hair lightening kit. We're gonna see if it works. If it doesn't, Oh no. And then, if it's not light enough, we're gonna go as blonde as possible, just for your information. I'm gonna give my hair a day of rest, and then we'll keep going with this process on Monday. And then, if it still doesn't look right, we're going to take the magic eraser and pretend like it never even happened. So, without further ado, my dudes, let's get bleaching. Oh, no, no. So let's catch up while I'm doing this. I took a bit of a break from social media this past week. And not gonna lie, it was very therapeutic. Because, oh my god, that's bad. How is it that I'm only like two seconds into this and I've already messed up? I think it's worth mentioning, I just took a passport photo with my brown hair. So does that mean I'll have to cross out my hair on my passport? We have the concoction from hell. Let's get painting, my dudes. Off come the glasses. I don't like this. I really should have put on some goggles or something before this to like protect the peepers. Don't forget the sideburns, my dudes. Just shaving my head is looking more and more appetizing, if you know what I mean. To be frank with you, I don't think the reality of what I'm doing has really set in yet. I just got bleach on my microphone. Something's burning. I'm gonna be blonde after this. Oh god. Oh, that's fast. Someone's eager, that's for sure. I will be damned if this does not look good. I am putting the absolute most effort into this. It is ma mammothelian. Mammothelian. Now, you're probably wondering, Joanna, are you going to bleach your eyebrows? No. no. It, it's part of the look, okay? It's extravagant. It's classy. Yes. Yes. This is it. We're doing it. Ah! Okay, I think it's time that I call in Mother Goose to get the back ends, because there's only so much you can do when you're not an octopus. Mom! Everybody say hi to Mother Goose. Hi. You just have to paint it on my hair. Yeah, do you want gloves? You should probably have my gloves. If you're wondering, yes, it did take a lot of convincing work on my part to convince my mother to be okay with this. Um, I'm not okay. <laughs> we're not gonna talk about it. I pulled out the graphs. I drew the diagrams, you know. I'm gonna look like Madonna and she's gonna be okay with it. Right, mom? Only I would do this. I agree. I agree. <laughs> oh, she's really going for it. Look at that. Of course it's toxic. What the heck? <laughs> you should have known by now I'm not a baby. Ooh, what? Papa don't preach. I've been losing <laughs> I can't see anything, so I have to squint so hard. All I need is the red lipstick, and then I'll really look like Madonna. Mm -mm. <laughs> what? I'm gonna let it marinate for a while, you know? Get the chicken ready, and then I'll come back later, and hopefully I'll be a blonde goddess. So I'll see you guys in a bit. What? Hello my dudes. So I am blonde, that's for sure. So I'm gonna wash this out and then we'll evaluate what the heck we've done today. One thing's for sure, it is very hot in here. I don't know if it's the chemical reactions going on, the exothermic processes. That's probably very wrong. 
So here's the dealio. As I had predicted, the ends, they're still here and I have to get rid of them. So I'm gonna take a day of rest for my hair, if you know what I mean. I don't wanna just bombard it with bleach and have it all fall off. On Monday, we'll come back, do something about these ends and then maybe tone it. It's looking a little bit yellow. The box told me to wait 14 days after I bleach it to tone it, but excuse you, do I look like Madonna yet? I don't. But we'll get there, we'll get there. Good morning, my dudes. It's me and I'm blonde, how are we doing? So today I'm gonna keep going with this adventure. I'm going over to Shoppers Drug Mart right now to buy the rest of the bleach. The camera is fogging up because it's so hot. How does that even happen? I woke up this morning to the news that Jake, Paul, and Tana Mongoose got married and it almost made me wanna fall back asleep, but then I remembered that I have a mess on my head to take care of, so it's best that I do wake up. I mean, let's not kid ourselves here. It is for publicity, so I guess the very fact that I'm talking about it kind of did the damn thing, but that's a conversation for another time. We've reached the mother load. This has to be the most terrifying thing in all of human history. What the heck is happening here, honestly? Once you are finished. Hello, my dudes. So we're back in my bathroom where arguably nothing good ever happens and we're gonna finish this blonde mission. A quick Shoppers Drug Mart haul. So I bought the same flash lightning kit that I used last time and then I also bought this toner. But yeah, so the plan for today. I'm first going to bleach the ends with this and then I'll go over and tone my whole head. You know what? Let's just get into this. We have a lot of things to do today. Yesterday was a pretty strange day because I actually went about my day with this exact hair. My mom and I, we went to Ikea to get a new bookcase for my room and um, <laughs> there were some very passive aggressive stares in my direction. Some angry mothers definitely looked at me, but you know what? I look fabulous. I think it's also worth mentioning that we're getting to the point where I really have to take calculated moves here. Oh my god, it smells awful. That but yeah, we're getting to the point here where if I make a wrong move, probably the only solution will be to go to the hairdresser and I wanna avoid that at all costs because they're gonna have a lot of questions and some questions that I won't even be able to answer. That is just another scent, wow. It's like a skunk, but on acid. Should we use aluminum foil? I think we should use aluminum foil and be like the cool kids, you know? I mean, I should've been using aluminum foil this entire time because the CIA does look at your thoughts, so. Guys, I'm doing a thing. Look at me go. I'm really sorry if this is not what you wanted to see. And I'm really sorry if you do hate this hairstyle because I didn't ask anyone on Twitter. I didn't let anybody know. So you're probably watching this and you might be having a heart attack. All I wanna say is please don't sue me. We are going to go platinum blonde. Speaking of platinum, my new album, self-titled I Bleached My Hair, is gonna hit the ground running. It's gonna definitely top the charts. Billboard Hot 100, more like Billboard Hot 1, because it's just gonna be my album. And then you just sandwich it. Yesterday, I was also thinking, what's gonna happen when my roots start to grow in? I'm gonna be frank with you, I don't wanna have to do this every month. Like, that's gonna be a hassle and a half. Hi. So I had to call in Mother Goose once again to do the whole back end situation. We ended up actually just bleaching the whole thing again. I'm gonna wait for this to do its thing and then we'll see if I have to tone it. We'll cross that bridge when we get there. I'll see you guys in a bit. Hello, my dudes. I've been spending the time painting my nails using none other than ah! Christine was actually nice enough to send me one of these and I just want to say thank you so much. As a fellow nail polish addict, I can officially say that it is definitely worth your money. You can tell that so much thought went into this, but anyway, it's amazing is all I have to say. But yeah, the hair, it's definitely very white, which is good. It's what we're going for. We're going platinum. Platinum, I said. Hi. What's up? Did you hear that I'm blonde? Yeah, I'm blonde. But by the way, did you hear that I'm blonde? You know, the other day, I mean, I'm blonde. Did you know that? 
You know what time it is? I'm blonde. So I just got out of the shower. This is what it looks like. I look like a bad mutation of the disease Logan Paul. Once again, I did not experience any breakage. So are you proud of me, Brad Mondo? I hope you are. Now the color. It's definitely pretty platinum, but we're also going to have to tone it because it is quite yellow in some places. So I'm just going to let this dry and then I'll check in with you guys again. dangerous. I should not be allowed near these bleaching things. <laughs> so it's been about an hour now. I ate lunch. I am absolutely enthralled with this color. Does it look right? No, especially with these eyebrows. Like there's something's not right up here. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to give my hair a bit of a break before I tone it once again. So I'm going to go out, run some errands, and then when we come back home, I'll tone it. We're still very yellow and I want to be more white. I didn't mean to be racist there. Please, America, I'm sorry. Let's go on an adventure. Blonde, fair, flaxen, peroxide. All words used to describe something that I am not naturally. This is a catfish, just like Facetune. Actually, whoever it was that created Facetune must be really rich because James Charles is definitely paying all their bills for them. Now, isn't that something that would just look amazing on a gravestone? Back to the hair situation. Hair truly is something that seems incredibly frivolous, yet strangely necessary. Actually, what the heck is the need for hair again. Some big brained geniuses, and by that I mean Google, say that the follicles on our head are used to trap in heat. But on other places of the body, it's heavily debated. That's right, ladies, you best start waxing your Wouldn't it be nice if we had insurance for our hair? I feel like I would be a prime candidate for such a service. I mean, if the government could give me a new scalp of hair every time I did something stupid to my head, I would be the first to sign up for that. It's like hair insurance from a hair care, Medicare, healthcare, or I don't care provider. Speaking of healthcare. What are everyone's thoughts on zebras? What a strange animal. It looks like it couldn't decide whether it wanted to be a horse, a donkey, or a tiger. And no one ever obsesses over them either. Like, it's the forgotten animal. You don't hear about zebra girls in middle school. So, in conclusion, everybody, I don't think we give enough attention to zebras. Zebras? Zebras? Zebrises? Yeah, that's it. You know what? Enough of this chit chat. Let's cut right to the chase. My hair looks ridiculous in these clips. It's almost lemon yellow, but therein lies the catch. One thing I've realized throughout this whole ordeal is that honestly, you could have any hair color, good or bad, but in order to rock it, you just have to walk with a certain confidence. Prince, how was he able to pull off those extremely effeminate outfits yet still look good? The answer is, as the cool kids call it, swagger. Hillary swag. Arnold Swagnet. Michael Swagson, Earth, Wind, Fire, and Swag, the fourth airbender. Okay, I need to shut up. Actually, one more. Fleetwood swag. Okay, I'm done. That's it. Oh, hey, look. I'm in the washroom again. It was time for me to tone my hair and go full platinum. Here's what I did. I decided to return that blonde kit that I got that morning and exchange it for this one because that one was called Very Blonde. But this one, this one was called Extreme Blonde. I mean, I'll fall for it. Why the heck not? However, these kits actually come with bleach and toner in them. And I wasn't about to fry my hair for a third time that day and certainly enter ramen noodle territory. So I tossed the bleach paraphernalia and kept only the toner. I can feel Brad Mondo cringing through the screen right now, but that's what I decided on and that's what I did. So I got my hair all nice and wet and applied a big fat purple poop pile to my hair. Now, to be frank with you, I'm not really sure what the purpose of this is or how it works at all. All I know is that guy Tang talks a lot about toner, so I should probably use it too. But I massaged it in and let it sit for five minutes. No more or no less though, because the L'Oreal Paris gods will get mad at you and materialize out of thin air to zap your butt back to the stone age. That being said, did I leave it in for more than five minutes? We won't talk about that. Now this is where things get a little bit foggy. Did the toner work? Honestly, I can't tell. Was my hair a little bit less yellow? I think so. I mean, depending which way the light hit my hair, it wasn't looking like yellow piss, so I think it really did do the damn thing. I'm not sure. Regardless, it was already 12 a.m. at this point and this whole operation had exhausted itself already. My hair was good enough. Was it the best ever? No. Was it Daenerys Targaryen blonde? No. But let's just say that we definitely got the message across. No 
we're not in that ballpark, but we're certainly in some ballpark, that's for sure. I look like some sick, mutated Gwen Stefani impersonator. Actually, that's an insult to Gwen Stefani, I'm sorry. I guess what I'm trying to say is, do I regret this? No, I love it. It was extremely fun. However, I may or may not have booked a hairdresser appointment for tomorrow to fix the yellow tones, okay? But a little update, as of me editing this video, the yellowness has subsided quite a bit, and the toner kind of did do its job, so we can sleep easy for now. Anyways, my dudes, I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video, and I hope you aren't too disappointed with the death of my brown hair. Thanks once again for your support on the Trinket Box launch. Your approval means the world to me, and I hope the sun is shining where you're watching this. I love you guys too much to handle, and I'll see you all in the next one. Toodles!